Hey guys, welcome back to Homeville, and today we're going to get the top colour on John Lemon. Okay guys, so last week you saw me get the, uh, the base colour on the two-tone of John Lemon, and today we get into painting the, uh, the top colour. But uh, to do that, do you know what we need to do? You guessed it, sanding. Yay! Okay, so I went over the whole thing with the DA standard with 600 just to get it down, get down the bigger areas, made sure I kept it moving. You don't want to leave it in one spot at any time because you'll get ripples and waves in it, but uh, just skimming over it and keeping it nice and smooth, it's, uh, I'm not too concerned about this car. Now I'm going to go through and going to do wet and dry, uh, also with 600 over the rest of the bits. One of the little tricks I have, because it is currently uh, about 10 degrees here, it's quite cool. Um, and I don't want to be dipping my hand into freezing cold water, so I've uh, boiled the kettle and just sort of poured that in here as well. So I've got a bit of a mix. I've got some nice warm water that'll stay warm for a while, and uh, it won't be an utter pain to rub this car down. So um, wet and dry rub, it is. bulk that's run rubbed back um, I haven't gone to town on all of the fine edges because the paint will cover that and I'm not yeah I'm not overly concerned but I'm just going around now and just putting some of this um, spot putty into the, the any small divots just just a little bit of spot putty just just sort of smear it on my finger and I'll come back and I'll block it out just so that I can uh, get it reasonably nice it's not this is not going to be a show quality paint job by any means but it's going to be um, but I want it nice because it's me. All of the uh, little spot putty bits I have set up now. So now I'm just going to go back with um, uh, sort of a solid foam block and, uh, and block them all out. And then we can get her back in the booth and start getting ready to paint. Okay, so uh, as you saw last week, I had a, uh, a couple of runs here, and what I'm going to do before I go into it, I'm not going to chop them back and everything now. I'm just going to cut the heads off of these things because often it's still a little bit soft under there, so just give it time to set up properly and um, let it set, and I will attack these at a later date. Well, that wasn't like I had planned. Uh, now I'm gonna have to touch it up. But uh, that's something for another day. I've got plenty more of this uh, cream and stuff to paint on the doors and bits and pieces later, so I can handle that then. For now, I'm annoyed and I'm gonna move on. She's all masked up, all cleaned up, so uh, time to mix some paint. Oh, I'm excited to see this colour. I haven't actually opened this tin yet, so um, I'm keen to see what it looks like. Ooh. 
Look at that, that is nice. I like it, it's perfect. So for those of you who like the yellow, but that's way nicer than yellow. I like it, that's good. All right, let's start mixing it up. So this is another two pack paint. So um, as before, it's a, uh, a two to one mix. So two parts of this, one part of hardener, and um, let's get into it. Okay, so she is all painted. The shell is is looking really nice, really nice and glossy. Oh, I just noticed there's a tiny little uh, drip of a run there. I don't think I'll even bother touching that. I might just give it a light sand later or something. That's the only run, the only proper run I've seen on the whole body, if you can see that in the paint there. But the rest of it is nice and shiny. It's all beautiful, glossy, clean, shiny. There's a couple of little bits in the paint, tiny, tiny specks in the paint, but nothing, nothing that I'm, I'm super worried about. And it is all nice and glossy. The only sort of slightly dry bit I've seen is, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, just, just here, just a little bit dry, just a little bit of a buff there would, would uh, do it well. But the rest of it is, is nice and glossy and shiny. Just the way I like it. A little bit more dust in the paint just here. Yeah, a little tiny bit. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. There we go. But it's looking, looking nice. Super happy. The interior all looks nice and shiny and painted. Surprised I didn't get more runs in here, actually, to be honest. I am the king of getting runs, so... Uh, yeah, it all is looking really, really nice. Oh, that's the only other. There's a little tiny, little tiny drip just, just there. But um, again, I don't even know if I'll touch that up. I think it's so not noticeable that I'm not really fussed. But overall, overall, it is looking fantastic. So, time to head back over here and keep working on this rear hatch and uh, sand it back and. Uh, Get it ready for primer. Okay, so I've been getting in and just uh, doing the final tidy up on all these parts. And I noticed on this uh, particular back guard, um, and there's a couple of little corners and stuff, where I've noticed that the, the panels are split. Looks like there's actually been uh, some small damage here in the past that's been repaired, but not very well. And um, the metal split there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, uh, to, to, to sort of bend it back out, weld it up and uh, do the, final bits of filler and get all these random little bits ready completely for primer which means uh, yeah just going around and just doing little touch-ups here and there getting there Uh, keeps, keeps, just keeps giving such wonderful gifts. I, uh, I noticed that there was a little bit of uh, body filler here that wasn't flat uh, on this car, and uh, yeah, I started sanding it back a little bit, didn't I? And that's not how this is supposed to look. <laughs> so, anyway, there's another patch here. I'll just cut that bit out, weld a new bit in. It uh, shouldn't take me long. And um, yeah, and then the door is good.
right, well, I've spent a fair bit of time going through and sanding and fixing up all these uh, bits and pieces. This is uh, welded up and looking good. I'm going to leave it to set up for the time being, but um, definitely out of time this week, but I'm quite happy with the progress made. So uh, it means it's time for Fun Facts with Mrs. Jeff. Hey guys. In 1961, Australia was hit by a recession which affected all of the car manufacturers. Volkswagen Australia was forced to retrench 90 workers. Despite Volkswagen sales dropping by 38%, they still held on to third place in the market. 1961 also saw the delivery of the 100,000th Australian Volkswagen. Volkswagen Australia decided to conduct a search for Australia's oldest original Volkswagen and they finally located it in country Victoria. The owners were given the brand new 100,000th Volkswagen in exchange for their 1946 model, which the company used for promotions and displays until it was sold in 1984. That 1946 model can now be seen at York Motor Museum in Western Australia. Yes! I am so in love with this colour. It came out so much better than I was expecting. I, I, I thought it'd be nice, but it's just... It's beautiful. I love it. So, um... Wish well, you spoke about me like that. Just saying. Anyway. I'm always in trouble. <laughs> As you guys can probably imagine. Um, in any case, um, next week I will obviously be getting on and finishing off the rest of the panels and trying to get everything else um, in that same colour. But um, that's definitely all we've got time for this week. So, as always, please, if you want to help us out, we've got the merchandise for sale. Actually, go and have a look in the store. We've got brand new John Lemon shirts. They look fantastic. Uh, my mate Louis uh, did the designs for them and they look awesome. I've got mine on order already. Have a look at them in the description. And uh, we've also got some new uh, baseball type uh, shirts up. Yeah, home cool. built. yeah, it's something a bit different, so check it out. Anyway, guys, see you next time. Despite the recession, the delivery of the 100,000 100,000. What's that? This is. My nose is running so cold. Is that it? That's it. Done.